Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Streaming Line TV. It's your boy, Blospa, all the way from Rwanda to India. Uh, today, I'm going to share you my experience of how you can get a, a best admission in top ranked universities all over the world. I'm going to give you 10 tips of how you can get uh, an admission that you wish to to get. Uh, the first tip is research your desired program. As usual in our daily life, we know uh, everybody needs to be someone or need to study something. Uh, in order to see how you can get there, you have to see which program am I eligible in or which program is best for me for my future or to achieve more in my life. The second thing is meet academic criteria. This is a very, very important uh, tip because if you are going to choose for your desired program you must see what i have what you have learned in your previous high school studies for example if you have studied physics chemistry and biology you are not going to look for the program which is having a it maybe a information and technology or you are going you are not going to look for uh, programs that are not qualifying your academic qualifications uh, the third thing is language proficiency uh, language proficient is another thing everybody must think about it before you apply for admission to certain universities because a language qualification or language uh, language proficient is something that proves ability your ability how you can expose or how you can express everything in certain language maybe it's uh, an english proficient or french proficient it depends on which country you want to go in or which university you want to apply on uh, the fourth tip is personal statement uh, here the personal statements uh, this is what shows why your capability what shows your capability is your cv uh, your personal skills in using machines, letter writing, those things, they are the ones that helps people to give you an admission to study for their university. Uh, the fifth tip is letter of recommendation. Here when you say letter of recommendation, let's look back to our high school. If, for example, you, you got uh, your A-level certificate, but with that, you need to get a recommendation letter from the from the high school where you started from for example you've started to for example let's take an example in my country i studied in nyagatale secondary school uh, when i'm going to apply for university for example this one i'm in lovely professional university i went back to my high school uh, to my high school school where i studied and they give me recommendation that shows that every kind of document i have is legally that helps you to get an admission to certain university you want to apply on. The sixth tip is strong resume. Strong resume. The strong resume is what you indicated in your CV or what you showed during your application. Your capabilities goes with the proofs. For example, if I said I'm good at driving a car, that's an example that is different from what we are doing right now. If you say you are good at driving a car, what shows is your driving permit? That's an example of your strong resume. The seventh tip is financial planning. We all know everything goes with financial stuffs. For example, if you are saying you want to go maybe in USA, Canada or India, you must see how much are we use in my process. For example, ticket, how much I will be paying the the university that is tuition fee length where we'll be staying and food i will use in my daily life plus other expenses and expected expenses you need to make sure that you plan well for your financial statements bro the eighth tip is submit a complete application this is a very basic thing you must think about it some people uh they don't know when to apply for their universities maybe they don't have information the only thing you need to do on this point is to look for the information about the application time the beginning of time the application and the end and uh, so that you can make your application to complete in time ninth tip is culture fit and adaptability 
this is a very nice tip because some countries they don't have uh, or they have culture which are somehow complicated you need to think and focus on this is this country where you want to go to study for higher studies how is their culture and how is go is it not going to affect my previous culture or is it not going to affect what i'm planning to do um, the 10 year tip is follow up this is um, a tip that shows that you are you are very interested in where you want to go to study maybe if you are doing follow-up you see your application you have submitted how how they are working on it you need to even to contact directly with your university where you applied for thank you for watching this video i would like to tell you to subscribe for watching more thank you